احمد هو نسلی قلع رسول اہل کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہم ڈاکٹر شہناز شیخ and I have compiled the word-for-word word English translation of the Qur'an with my friend, Qusar Khatri. It was first published in India in 2007, and it is being printed on demand by Amazon since 2010. This is how it looks like when you open it. You see that each word of the Qur'an in Arabic, there is a corresponding English meaning right below it. Let's take the example of Surah Kafirun. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم so بسم b is the preposition meaning in and اسم means name the has been included in the round brackets to improve the readability in English again Allah the word of is in brackets because it is not there in the Arabic however it has been included so that the readability is better الرحمن the most gracious الرحیم the most merciful قل say now here because of the word for word translation whenever the word qul will come the student the reader the reciter knows that it means say ya ayyuhal kafirun o disbelievers la not abudu i worship now when the reader remembers that he recites in salah iyyaka na'budu so na'budu is we worship abudu I worship. Ma, what? Ta'budun, you worship. Again, they have the same root, ayn, ba, and dal. So it makes it easy for the student to learn the meaning. Vala, and not. Antum, you, abiduna, are worshippers. Again, from the same root, ayn, ba, and dal. Ma is again repeated what? Now twice already it has been repeated. So the student remembers it. Abudu, I worship. Ala and not. Ana, I am abid, a worshipper. So abidun, worshippers, abid, a worshipper. Ma again, what? Abatum, you worship. Vala, again it is repeated, and not. Antum, you, abiduna, are worshippers, ma, what, abudu, I worship. La, kum, for you. Di, no, kum, your religion. Valiya, and for me. Deen, my religion. And there is a Translation given in the side, the running translation. So the student can compare also the running translation. Now the feature of this word for word translation is the use of square back. The square brackets are used when the Arabic word meaning is there. However, for improving the readability in English, we do not require it. So let's take the example of Surah Hajj, chapter 15, verse 9. Inna, which means indeed we. Nahnu, we. Nazzalna, we have sent down. A dhikr, the reminder. Wa inna, and indeed we. La who, of it. La hafidun, surely guardian. So here we have the repetition of we. So what we can do here is that when we are reading it as a sentence in English, we can read like indeed we have sent down the reminder. And indeed, we of it are surely guardians. Another feature is boldening and capitalizing the pronouns that refer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which makes it easy to understand the translation, the meaning. For example, you see here, qala, he said, innahu, indeed he. Now, the qala here is referring to, the he is referring to Musa alayhi salam. These are the verses in Surah Baqarah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ordered Musa alayhi salam to tell his people to sacrifice a cow. And they had come up with various questions. So he said here, he refers to Musa alayhi salam. And innahu, indeed he, he here refers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we are making it bold and 
we are capitalizing it, it makes it easy for the student, the reader, to understand that it is referring to, that, that pronoun is referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We also have one more addition. It is a one juice addition for school students. This enables them to learn Quranic Arabic even in schools. Some schools, alhamdulillah, where Arabic is not their language. It's a foreign language for them. They are also learning Quranic Arabic using this one juice addition. They start learning word for word English translation from grade 3. And alhamdulillah, by grade 10, they would have completed the entire Quran, the basic one read of the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then after that, to further enhance their knowledge, they can read various translations, tafsirs, ahadith, etc. Alhamdulillah.